All right, everybody. Well, hey, thanks for taking time on your Monday evening, the Monday before Thanksgiving here. It is what? It's hard to believe it's November 23rd already. Wow. Where has the freaking year gone, right? It is just blowing by. I mean, just double barrels blazing, just boosh, 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 just killing it. What a great, and I look back like, where did November go? <laughs> oh, I guess if you take a week out to go to a mastermind, uh, like I did last week, I was going to have a Monday note. It just, uh, uh, very inter- interesting mastermind. I got invited to go to a, a San Diego um well, first of all, welcome to the Monday Now We get some people on here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, we have people not only listening here in the United States, but all across the world and uh, via the uh, nice uh, World Wide Web. But uh, definitely an interesting week last week. Uh, after the virtual workshop, I wanted to first of all thank all 200 and some odd plus of those that were on the virtual workshop, the 13th, 14th, and 15th. I had to jump on a plane Sunday night and fly to San Diego. Spent three days in an a interesting real estate mastermind. It's called a Collective Genius uh, that meets four times a year. And I got invited to come out to this meeting. And there was 110 really savvy real estate investors in the room. Really a uh, great group of guys and gals. But as one of the new people, as one of the six people that were new there, I had to get up and present on what I do. And it felt like I was speaking Greek. <laughs> was the most interesting discussion I had because usually I'm pretty good about a crowd. This crowd was made up mostly 95%. I would actually say higher, like 96.5%, maybe 97 were made up of fix and flippers, wholesalers. And then you had some information marketing guys on there as well. Uh, but mostly fix and flippers, people that had rental portfolios. And when I got up and spoke about notes, it was kind of funny Watch the crowd just get kind of like to glaze over. I'm like, really? And uh, it was just, it was interesting. Uh, it'll be something I'm definitely joining uh, and looking forward to be a part of that. But it was just an interesting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We actually focused on business stuff, took some questions. But just, you know, when usually I, I like, I go to several, there's different masterminds I'm part of. And so, like, I have my mastermind come up in two weeks in Cape Coral, Florida, December 7th through the 10th. Really excited about that. But this is a different different group, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with this one over the next over 2016 as we get rocking and rolling on it. You know what I mean, everybody? Uh, when we're talking to a group, I'm sure many of you guys, I would really say it's like probably trying to explain note investing to somebody who's never invested in a piece of real estate. It was really kind of like that. I felt like that. I, mean, I had a lot of people that showed interest to it. I had some people that came up and were pretty excited about things, but it was just kind of funny. So, anyway, let's dive into Stuff today. For, if you guys haven't already connected with me, please do so on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, Vimeo, YouTube, Pinterest. Uh, for some of you guys that are connected on LinkedIn, you may have already seen a post I posted just a little while ago. Actually, doing a phenomenal job with that post. Uh, that is crazy exciting, Scott. Yeah, totally. I, uh, one post I posted at five o'clock has already raised me half a million dollars, roughly, in private funds. Just to my database on LinkedIn, and just crazy. I'll talk more about that later on. So, but totally recommend that you connect with me. The reason I recommend that you do this is that you should be doing this yourself, everybody. You should be connecting with people socially, and also having your different things. You'll never know who you come across to who will connect with you. All right. So let's uh, dive into uh, some of the different events that are upcoming for you guys to tap into for information. Uh, we have I talked about the Note Mastermind We're taking place in Cape Coral with 50 of my rock star Note Mastermind students who are just rocking it. I think we're going to have roughly close to 2,000 deals there at the Mastermind in Cape Coral, if not a little bit more. I'll get more into that later today or later tonight. Uh, January 8 through 10, we have a uh, Fast Track Note training taking place here in Austin. I'll cover more of that later on. January 15th through the 16th, the Dallas REI Expo will be taking place up in Dallas. 800, uh, I'm told, I, I would be willing to expect somewhere between 500 and 800 real estate investors join together for a, uh, the 15th and 16th, the Friday, Saturday. Or is it the 16th and 7th? I think it's a Friday, Saturday. Definitely worthwhile. We'll be speaking at that. That next week, 
<clears throat> January 20th, I was just invited today to speak in Dallas at the Quest IRA Investor Freedom Mixer. Uh, that'll be fun. We'll try to get a couple hundred investors out there for that to learn about IRAs and note investing. It's been a while since I spoke up in Dallas. Actually, it's literally been a year and a half since I spoke up in Dallas itself, like two years. Well, almost like two years since we've been on the road so much. Uh, we have our next virtual note buying for dummies workshop taking place the 22nd to the 24th of January. So if you guys didn't make the last one, you guys can definitely get on board on that one. That'll be three days of pure content. And for those of you like Jay, that you're on the call here, Timmy, we get such a great group this time. Don't get me wrong. Every group has been good. I'm not trying to state that. But just the amount of great questions and the amount of you guys sharing socially. So I know some of you guys have probably watched me before, but literally it's amazing seeing light bulbs go off. It is so freaking cool to see stuff like that happen because light bulbs end up leading to dollars, okay? Uh, question here. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, Jay, did you get what you needed as well from earlier we were talking about? You exchanged a couple emails back and forth. Timmy, did you get what you needed today? All right, just let me know on the, on the timing on that. We'll get rock and rolling for you. All right, guys. <clears throat> now, in uh, January 26th, I'll be speaking at the, up in Lubbock, Texas, at the Lubbock Rio. Really excited about that. Uh, really excited. We look like we may actually be moving to a larger location for the Lubbock Rio. I was on the phone with Jeff Smith today about that one, so we're excited because he's going to do some marketing. We're going to do some marketing and, and uh, help convert those Texas Tech Red Raider fans. <laughs> I'm probably not going to show up. Depending on how the game goes Thursday, will probably depend on I, I, what I wear. <laughs> <laughs> to that one in, in January. Uh, February 6th in Houston, Texas. For those of you guys in Houston, there's the Lifestyles Expo. Uh, that one will be probably 2,500 real estate investors in Houston alone. And then uh, I'm really excited about on February 19th to the 21st, also in Houston. Uh, it's so freaking jacked about this. The Build Your Legacy Summit will be kicking in. And this is an event that's co-sponsored right now by Quest. IRA, myself, Laughlin and Associates, it's going to be a completely different type of event. It's not going to be like an REI Expo. It's not going to be like a note buying for dummies workshop. This is literally some, we're bringing in some of the best asset protection experts, some of the uh, different ways you can put your money to work through IRAs, HSAs, Coverdales. This is a, literally a two-and-a-half-day event, half day on Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. It's an event designed to help you literally put some things in place, some foundations in place to help you build your long-term legacy. We all have a legacy. We all have dreams we want to accomplish for our, our kids, our families. If you don't know what to do, which a lot of us don't know, and I was literally blown away. The idea of this came away about, came about six months ago during my Houston workshop and realized that so many investors don't know what's option out there. So we're literally putting this on, and we are just – I am tickled pink – I'm expecting 500 investors to beat this thing focused on now. A lot of IRA investors are going to come to this thing, so it'll be a great private funding source. It's literally going to be a really, really amazing thing out there in Houston. We're going to have that at the Weston Memorial Hotel. So stay tuned. There'll be more notice on it coming out Friday. We're going to actually launch uh, the website and some stuff on the Build Your Legacy Summit this Friday during Black Friday. So stay tuned. No, we're not going to start selling tickets at a dollar. <laughs> Uh, I think some of you guys really, really enjoyed the Monday note <laughs> uh, week before last when we did the whole 30-day note training thing. And I know the 170-plus of you guys that are on that are really loving it, getting a lot of good content off of the, the Monday note from like two weeks ago. So anyway, but there's a, a quite a bit of events between uh, now and uh, obviously March for you to get tapped into. That's not everything. Those are just some of the things that we're focused on. Uh, yeah, we'll have another February. Uh, actually, we won't have a February you no know, buying for dummies virtual. We'll have that in March uh, and then go from there. But anyway, let's dive into the content for tonight's information for you guys. So you definitely want to grab a pen and paper. Tanya, we're actually updating our website right now. We just updated a new calendar link on the weclosenotes.com. So literally stay tuned as we're, worked, we're tweaking through that. Um, Frank, I don't think I'm going to be traveling much this next year. Actually, I've been asked to speak. I'll actually be coming into West Virginia 
or Virginia to speak. It's not close. And then I think Andrew wanted me to come speak in Delaware or not. I'm not sure yet. So, but we're doing more stuff virtual so that more people can take advantage of it. And, and Frank, Frank, I think you've been through the virtual workshop. Hey, if you get a Philadelphia workshop, let me know. Jay, I'd be glad to come to just talk to Andrew McDaniels that runs that group. So, and then we talked a couple months ago about me coming up and speaking there. He offered me up too. We'll see if he does it or not. So anyway, you see you tomorrow. Well, make sure you ask him, Jay. Make sure you get on his nerves and say, "Hey, Scott, we need our Andrew. We need to have Scott come to Delaware." All right. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Today's Monday note is something you're going to want to take notes on, and I would not be surprised if you all download this uh, webinar that we're going through right now. I'll probably end up uploading the slides, the slide share, just because I think it's got content in it tonight that you guys are all going to probably want to implement. Now, um, let me see here. Let me do this. Can I do a poll right now? Oh, use the button below to create a poll. I'm going to ask this. Okay. Whoops. Did that, I'm not doing this at the time. I meant to ask a poll earlier to you guys, but I'll just, whoops, my screen's all getting all goofy here. So um, how many of you have been happy with your year? to date? How many of you guys hit your goals real estate wise for the year? And there's a, if you didn't, it's fine. But if you did, let me know. If you did, yes, you hit your goals. Okay, we got one there. Congratulations, Daryl. Al did. Timmy did. Okay, good. We got a few of you guys. Decent year. Bob did. Michelle did. Good. Not close. Frank did. Falling short of the years on over. Good year. So the question I'm asking your real estate investment stuff, because some of you guys are in real estate anyway. All right. And some of you aren't, which is good. I'm on track now. It makes it be even better. That's good. All right. So the question, I always, that's what I always like to see. Are you happy where you're at? Now, real estate-wise, are you happy? Now, here's the next question. Hang on here. You can quit posting comments. Hang on here. I'm trying to get caught up here. Dang, I love it when you guys ask questions. I do love it. How many of you hit your note business goals for the year? I know Daryl did. <laughs> yeah, you can raise your hand twice, Kate. That that counts. People, you gotta take action. If you're not taking any action, <clears throat> eight out of ten. Frank, that's awesome. Jim Bolding, are you waiting for the first quarter to do something again? <laughs> uh, okay. This is a clue part of lending. No, this is on the note side because that's what we're focused on. That's why we call it the Monday note. Okay. I get people all the time just moving in and out. So it's okay if you get started. And I understand uh, some people are like, oh, we're, we're educating and learning. Some, and I get that there's a lot to learn about notes. Pete, that's a good job. Just started, only for purchased four notes this year, moved it on other investments. That's fine in 2016. Well, that's what you're here for, okay? Now, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm giving up for 2016 or 2015. I'll start next year. Well, if you really, if you do that, you're really shooting yourself in the foot. Like, I'm going to wait till the first quarter. Screw that, all right? You have got to quit that mentality speaking because literally right now is the best time to be doing something. OK, right now is the best time to be doing something because literally there is so much going on. But what a lot of note investors struggle with is they don't know. <clears throat> they don't realize that, hey, actually, right now is the best time to be doing it. They don't realize right now that the financials of the bank, the, the way the banks are structured, now is the time to be doing something now so that your next year is good. Because honestly, come January, February, it's probably going to be pretty dead out there except for those that did something right now, okay? 
Frank, you've got the most offers in now than all year. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree with that. Okay? So, but most investors don't realize notes are really kind of like a, a, a tripod, a literally uh, three-legged stool. Now, what happens if you take one of these posts out? What's going to happen with the stool? It's going to fall over, right? Your business is not going to be smart. That's how the note business works. And tonight, we're going to cover those three, the three prongs, the three legs, so that you have a solid business. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now, some of you are so off on your brainwashing, you have mind fucked your. Uh, pardon my French, but literally, you've mind effed yourself out of success. All right. I get fired up about this, obviously. I didn't mean to drop an F-bomb, but, hey, you can tell I get passionate, right? Ah! Passionate about it. So <clears throat> let's talk about this. The three legs of successful note investors, all right, and this is some of you might like, what? Some guy, I'm already three-legged lady. <laughs> okay? Not what I'm talking about, but <laughs> it's Monday. No, I have not been drinking, I promise you guys. Is literally leg number one has got to be the asset managers. Okay, <laughs> all right. It has got to be the asset managers, and that's where you, that's the source. Okay, leg number two is private investors. Okay, got to have somebody fund your deals. Even if you've got the cash, you still got there's still plenty of private investors out there. And I, I'm trying to get to something here in a second, everybody. Especially for those of you that a the wolf is at the door or the cupboard's bare or you're scared to death, oh, my God, how am I going to pay for Christmas? You've got literally a month to Christmas Eve. A month of, You can still put five grand, ten grand in your pocket between now and then, okay? Is this on the screen? Your question, Bill, no, it's not on the screen. <laughs> I'm the only one that sees the question in the comments, okay? Third question. Hang on here. Whoops, hang on. It helps if I share my actual screen, don't I? Did I just stop it? Wow. Well, hey, that's funny. Thank you. All right, Bill. Let me go back here. Thank you very much. It must have been when I hit the thing. So literally, because I really like my little. Start your success right now. For those of you that missed, if I didn't really do that, wow. There's the upcoming events list. You may want to take a quick snapshot of that with your phone, okay? My apology, everybody. I wish somebody had said something. Anyway, there's your tripod. There's your three-legged stool. Three legs of successful note investors. you got to have the asset managers, and by asset managers, that's the, basically the sourcing, okay? And I call it my F, my, my first F, how to find, okay? Leg number two is you've got to be able to fund. you got to have the private investors, and so many people – Screw themselves up because they focus on this before they ever focus on one. I'll call an asset manager once I have private funding. Or nobody funded my deals a year ago, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm so sick of that crap. <clears throat> it was this little time. All right, Al, thanks. The third thing that people need to understand in a business, leg number three is your exit strategies and systems. I throw those into the same thing. Because your systems will help you dictate your exit strategies. Or your exit strategies will work with your vendors and your systems and things like that. So those are the three things that focus. Now, what happens, too, is people get all bogged down in exit strategies and systems, and they never reach out to asset managers. Well, I need to know everything before I pull the trigger. <laughs> I want to shoot him in the head. Hang on. One more time. It's ridiculous. You're not going to learn everything, okay? That's like literally saying, I want to be a millionaire when I know how to make a million dollars. No, you just go out there and do it, okay? <laughs> I have a, I have a good time. Monday night's like one of my favorite nights of the week because I get to spend it with you guys talking, all right? I love teaching you guys and stuff. I, and obviously strategy because it's been a good day. It has been a very busy and very good day. Rocking out some stuff today. All right. And I'll share you exactly what I did. All right. <clears throat> exactly, Darren. Number two and number three don't mean shit if you ain't got number one. All right. If you're not going to tackle the asset manager, go out and find deals, you might as well stay working in that job of 10 years, five years, 
12 months that you hate. You might as well keep working 60, 70, 80 hours a week in a job that is, is helping build somebody else's dream and not your own. <clears throat> it is what it is. We are all in the situation of where we're at currently because of the decisions that we have all made on a daily basis. I don't care what excuse, what bullshit you want to tell yourself. I'm where I'm at today because of the decisions I made. You are at where you're at today because of the decisions you made. And only you have made those decisions. Now, nobody held a gun to your head. Okay, You choose to either work, to slack off, to take the J-O-B, or to spend time doing investing in yourself and making things happen. Okay? Yes, this is being recorded if you want to watch this later on. All right. So a lot of people, though, even with number one, number two, number three, it's the whole chicken before the egg. Do I get the cash before I get the deals, or do I get the deals and then worry about the cash? Okay? Well, it is all about the deals. It is not about the cash because, A, you can have all the cash in the world, can be all privately funded. If you have no deals, you're just sitting at home watching your money literally rot. Okay? Literally freaking rot. All right? And what was funny is, couple, was it about a month ago, two months ago, I started a asset manager phone calls, and it was a complete failure for those that were involved. I take that back. About 95%, there's really only two people that turned in their lists on a timely fashion. They did it right. They did it on time. Other people slacked off. I Literally, what's funny is I had people like, go beyond this. I want to call assets. I want to call asset managers, and they never did. And so I laugh about that. That's why we kind of brought it to an end because it was not worth my time just to handle two or three people do it, okay? And Elvin asked a question. You need to work on number one and number two at the same time. Yes, not really. So number number one here, let me go back here. If you work on number one and I listen to what I have to say, number two will show up, okay? If you work on number one, number two will show up, Okay? And then number three will fall in and help you fill in the gaps between those because I'll go through some rules here for you to make things happen, okay? While money funds deals, money is not the game all. Money is not the end all, okay? It's all about the deal, all right? It's not all about the Benjamin. It's all about the houses, okay? So let's talk about leg number one. It's all about the deals. Well, rule number one. He who has the gold makes the rules. Can we all agree to that? He who has the gold makes the rules. Well, what's funny is that in today's market, in today's market, the gold in today's world is deals. Money is cheap and plentiful, okay? There's plenty of money out there to fund your deals. Literally, what's funny is I get hedge funds that call me or other supposedly big whales that got millions and millions of dollars, and I'm talking to them on the phone, and they don't have deals. Their money is costing them money to do stuff with. So they are taking skinnier deals than expected, all right, or they're jumping on stuff that just doesn't make sense for them, okay? Doesn't mean you guys can get pushed or getting pushed out because literally there's a ton of money about to um, – a ton of deals about to hit the market here over the next three months. There's also a ton of deals about to hit the market here in the next two weeks. All right? So keep that in mind. The gold in today's world is deals. It's not money. It's deals. So you, who has the deal, makes the rules. All right? He yeah, Exactly, Dan. He who controls the assets controls the gold. Exactly. Because people out there are looking, they're begging. People are begging for somebody to help them mess their money and make money, okay? People are begging. They're upset and sad that they don't have money. They don't have the deals they invested, or they don't have the time, okay? They don't have the time, and what's the word I'm trying to say here? They're looking for help of some sort, you know? They don't want to break the glasses. They're looking for ways to make things happen, and... You guys that are in this business, you've got access to deals six to 12 months before the REOs, the fix and flippers, the rental guys will ever see that stuff. So keep that in mind, okay? So focus on finding deals, all right? Banks, hedge funds, mortgage bankers, private sellers, servicing companies are all moved, getting stuff lined up to be moved out in the next two weeks, 
Okay? Dialing for dollars is a lost art, but if you don't like being on the phone, you can use technology to help make things easier for you. You can jump on LinkedIn. You can pull lists off of LangGuide. You can jump on Distress Pro. These are three sources right off the bat that can provide contacts to asset managers, secondary marketing professionals to get things done. Okay? The idea is you have to take action now. Don't wait till January. Don't wait till oh, it's, it's dead in my other business. You got to take action now. I can take this week off and chill and cook and get fatter than I am already. All right. Somebody said joke the other day, I'm doing a turkey trot. Yeah, if I'm on the turkey trot, they might shoot me thinking I'm the turkey. All right. <laughs> run, turkey, run. Anyway, I'm way too much fun with my sound machine tonight. Anyway. If you're gonna, if you're not gonna do something between now and January, you, you honestly, and this is by no means trying to be a slap in anybody's face, quit wasting your time here. Quit wasting your time here, because you're not ever gonna do anything. If you're brand new, disregard it. We all gotta learn. But there's some people that are on this call that have been trying to get things done for the last 12 months, 24 months, 36. All right. What was the one side you had? What was the one side you had? Language, language. I mean, lane guide. Yeah, don't make your new. I hate New Year's resolutions. Okay, take it basically. Turn 2016 into a 13 month year. Okay. All right. Fourth, a fourth is the best. A fourth. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Okay. Been trying for nine years, Mike. You need to just give it up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so don't wait till 2016. Banks have the need to move assets now. And, and honestly, most of it's going to be first. I was talking to the guys at Realty Track. They came into San Diego for the mastermind that I was in. Had a long conversation with them about the note business and note deals, first versus seconds or junior liens. And literally, if you're in the second lien business, you're going to be out of business, especially once the hiccup ends, once we get uh, – well. Once the real estate bubble bursts here, if you're in a seconds business, you're going to be hurting. You're going to have a hard time buying assets with the actual equity. Um, it's not going to be a fun time. That's well, what's funny is I get second guys all the time are calling me right now. Hey, you got any seconds? I'm like, yeah, no, sorry. You know, you know we're buying any seconds? No, nah, not going to happen. But there's still a ton of firsts out there. This whole se uh, shadow inventory wave of loan mods and hat mods that took place five years ago are starting to default and leave it open for us to come in. All right. You just got to be making your connections now. Uh, if you don't want, if you want to wait to take action, go watch the Gilmore girls. <laughs> I enjoyed that slide. I don't know. If you want to wait to take action, then go watch TV. Go watch the bachelor. Go watch the boob tube. All right. Go watch Gilmore girls. Cause you're not going to take action. I think I, you know. I think I watched one episode of the Gilmore Girls back when it was running, and I was like, I had to vomit. I was like, this is such a. Uh, no offense, everybody, if that's your favorite show. <laughs> All right, but go watch something. Go, seriously, just do yourself a favor. Quit faking it and go do it. I'm being really motivational tonight. Some people are like, man, you're really bashing. I'm not bashing. All right. If you if you wait to take action, go. If you're not going to step out there, do something now. Honestly, you're not going to have success because this is a business that's based on taking action. <laughs> hey, Mike, whatever I can do for you. Because, A, if you're trying to get into the seconds business and you don't have connections, you are way, way in the – but if you're there already, like somebody on the call here, hey, you've got your connections. You're the ones they are going to sell with. All right? <laughs> it's just it's not going to happen. All right? This is all a business about relationships, everybody. This is all a business about relationships. And you can make those relationships now pay off next year, if not pay off this year. Okay? Today's actions breed profits tomorrow. Okay? It is a people biz. Totally is a people biz. All right? Let me give you an idea of what today's actions look like for me. I sent one email out to 39 or 3,400 asset managers. I had 446 open it as of when I was uh, putting this PowerPoint presentation together. That's a nice 50, uh, what is that, 11% uh, open rate. Who do you think is going to email tomorrow? Those 446. I got this whole campaign to hit them up the next three days and the first of next week. 
people that opened it, and then also going back to those that didn't open it. Hey, I'm going to hammer these hard. But out of that 446, I got a phone call from a broker in Houston who's got a 200-unit hotel in Arkansas. They're looking to move. All right. 200 unit in Arkansas. I don't know. Uh, is in Fayetteville. All right. So it may lead to something. I got several lists promised to be sent to me next week. People are like, hey, I don't have anything this week. I'm taking off for Thanksgiving, but also the next week. All right. I then called five of my hedge fund buddies, people that I've traded from in the last six months. Okay. And they literally got one list of 1,297 first liens. It's ridiculously huge. I think the seller is smoking crack. And I told the guy that. I told the hedge fund guy that. Your seller is smoking crack. <laughs> he wants to close 1,297 assets before New Year's. Not going to happen. Especially the pricing one. But at least I got some answers to look at. I got another 195 contract for deep tape that came in for me, which I kind of like this stuff. All right. Excited about that. We're working on getting that for the mastermind next week. I got four smaller tapes in, one's 11, one's a four. I got another couple of tapes that are coming in that came from me literally picking up the phone, calling some connections, all right, sending an email out to other people. The whole point is, especially this email, 3,497 asset managers, basically you guys can pull. If you've ever taken my virtual workshop, I show you how to pull that stuff. Now, the crazy thing is, I still got another e uh, to have to send an email out another 3,000 plus asset managers on a different list that I have. I'm going to find deals if it kills me. I know I'm not here doing it all night long. I'm here with you guys. I should, actually should have just kind of chilled and went home and had some nice turkey chili that I made last night. But what I'm trying to get at, guys and gals, I didn't call 3,497 asset managers. I sent one email. I only made five phone calls to asset managers, okay? And actually, I ex exchanged emails with a couple more. I got a list of 40 to 50 coming tomorrow in the first of uh, December from a fund. I still have a huge amount of contacts to reach out to, all right? you want to? If you don't believe me, hang on here. Do I have it open still? Let me do this. So you know the proof is in the pudding here. So, like, uh, da, 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 log in here, campaigns. I sent a couple emails out to share with you. So, literally, campaigns, asset managers on one list here, you'll see. December assets, I bet the 13%, 455. And literally, it's an email that goes out, hey, I'm looking for your assets. Well, I'm, this is what I buy. <laughs> Clean up your portfolio before 2016 arrives. We want your assets, low value. Literally sent that out to a little bit about me. Okay, that's led to assets coming in because I do this on a regular basis. Okay, do this on a regular basis. And Mailchimp cost me. Well, I have a big database on Mailchimp, but literally, if you got five thousand contacts or less than that, most of you guys have less than that. Literally, would cost you less than a hundred bucks a month to send out. All right, but literally sent this out, and I'll follow up. What's a beautiful thing on this? I can literally go on here, view the report. I can send it out to the people that didn't open it next time. All right. I can click on the people that clicked on it and call them up immediately. We had 14 people unsubscribed. Whoopie freaking do All right. Whoopie freaking do And you see, I sent it out about 2 o'clock. I mean, like 334 opens. And it's obviously falling down a little bit as we get to the end of the day. But I'll follow up with another email tomorrow. And they clicked on my YouTube videos, weclosenotes.com, and they checked on my LinkedIn profile. Okay? And you can see people uh, looked more than once. And they were basically United States, Japan, really, Canada, United Kingdom, and Finland. Huh. I'll buy some Finnish assets. But literally, that's one of the things that we focused on today. I was like, yeah, we reached out to that, and it was successful. All right? Uh, how many of you guys have sent an email out to asset manager lists? I know a bunch of you have taken my workshop because we got – over 200 on the call. Uh, yeah, Mike, no, I'm not going to post that on Basecamp. Steve, and you're, are you getting responses to your emails? I'm getting ready to send out. No, that's not the same thing as sending out. Not yet. You've got to see the thing is, if you're brand new and sending this stuff out, this is stuff that you should have been doing 
And you've been around, should have been doing it three months ago, six months ago, sending out monthly. Okay? You get a 33% open rate, that's a good spot. You just got to be loading in a MailChimp. Hey, that's great. Do something. Loading it, it's like ready, aim, and not firing. Ready, aim, not firing. I'm a more of a fire out to 6,000, then I'll ready, aim, and take it down from there. <clears throat> Frank, you got an REO list in your state. That's phenomenal. That's a side thing of it. You're going to get some stuff. Congratulations, Frank. Hang on. That's freaking... What I love about you, Frank, is you take action. You take action, buddy. And we, uh, I gotta, I gotta send you a file folder on your deal as well. We got some uh, headway on that one as well. Okay. You be around Frank Bueno for a couple hours or a few minutes to know the guy's deal here. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on to the second leg. Let's get deals closed, right, everybody? Most people though will never do that first part, and then because they end up, oh, I don't have no money. I ain't got no money, money. All right. I can't fund deals. Nobody will fund my deals. Well, the second rule is he who has the money can't fund shit if they don't know what you have to fund or that you are doing deals. <laughs> How are people going to know what the hell you're doing if you never communicate with them? I'm going to wait and make sure that I'm going to test this out myself. Make sure it's legit before I go do it. It's legit. All right? It's more legit than the job you've got. All right? But literally, he who has the money can't fund shit if they don't know what you have to fund or that you are doing deals. That means, what's that mean? You've got to reach out to people. You've got to reach out to your database. Okay? So market your deals to your database and to your social media. Okay? Your tribe, which is the people that you know that you're connected to, it's worth millions in OPM. That's other people's money, whether they have it in their 401k, the self-directed IRA, etc. Millions. I'm literally doing a 30-day a private money series right now to over 160, actually 170 investors, and it's amazing. I had people go through and pull their scores and, and calculate their private money formula in their database, and the amount of money that people have connections is mind-boggling. They just have never reached out to them, and that's what we're spending time on. So – like one of the things I focused on this week in that series was literally I got a deal. I'm looking for raising capital. I'm going to market it not to my big database of 30,000 people. I'm going to write up a brand new email and send it out just purely to my LinkedIn connections. All right. But I'm going to break down the deal first. I'm not just going to send it a blast out. Here's a picture of property. No, I'm going to break down the deals to make sure it's worth marketing. And, you guys can all do the same thing. You build your equity in value in the deal by doing the due diligence, checking taxes, checking values. What's the condition? Can we market it? What's the rent rates? Okay. What's foreclosure time frame? Has the HOA taken it down? What's, is it, what's the HOA fees per month if there is one? A lot of you are scared to do the deal because you're not going to break down deal equity, the deals. If you break down the due diligence, you'll raise more money by literally – building your equity into it, and knowing what, A, you can squeeze extra into or squeeze a little bit extra out of, all right? So taking action now, you're going to wonder, what's this guy and this girl here, right? Who are these people taking action now, all right? And so hang on a second here. We're going to play a little song here. All right. So today, taking action now. Investors are looking for gold. She give me money when I got a deal in need. <laughs> give me money when I'm in need. All right. There's millions of dollars in private funding available out there. Send an email to your freaking database on deals, everybody. All right. Yeah, because you're looking. There's plenty of deal diggers out there. You be a deal digger to find your gold, everybody, okay? <laughs> or just stick being a gold digger and never do anything and hope people are just going to give you money because you're good luck. And God honest, I've seen some of your LinkedIn profiles. You ain't pretty enough to be a gold digger. <laughs> All right. <coughs> 
The amount of scotch you drink is not going to help anything. A lot of you guys have got to take action. And I'm talking about the ladies in here, too. I'm not saying the ladies are the gold diggers. But if you if you don't even just communicate with your database in a regular basis, you're never going to end up raising capital. And your database can be more than just an email. It can be the media group you're part of that's got 300 people. Or the uh, the real estate investment club has got fifteen hundred people. You got to get out and talk to people. All right. A lot of you are scared to send something out, and if you don't ever send anything out, people aren't going to just have ESP and realize, oh, hey, Jim's got a deal. I know he needs funding. Let me call him now because I am feeling it. We did a Vulcan mind meld a few months back, and I know that he has a deal to fund, even though he's never called me, never posted anything. Or done anything. I know he's got a deal for money. That, that shit doesn't happen. Okay? That shit doesn't happen. Unless you go to Vegas and you're dressed like this guy. Yeah. It's not going to happen. All right? <clears throat> what makes me scared is not knowing how to analyze deals. Analyzing deals is easy. Checking values. <laughs> Checking taxes. How do you check values? You get a realtor to do a BPO for it. You use Zillow truly to get a high end side of it. Okay? Okay? You've got to figure out. Is due diligence, trust me, there's videos and all sorts of stuff. Due diligence is the easiest part of this business. All right? Because literally, with the spreadsheets, the asset manager is going to give you some stuff. All right? Totally blunt stuff. But most of you guys I see out there that are looking to wholesale, you want to wholesale because it requires you not to do anything. Hey, I got a list of deals, pay me 5%. Screw that. All right. You ain't worth 5%. You're not worth 3%. You're not even worth 1% half the time because, A, you're just recycling and being part of a daisy chain. Okay? I had a lady email me last night a list of REOs and notes. And I'm like, as soon as I got it, I pulled up, like, I've already seen this. This is, like, from four months ago. I'm like, why? Don't send me this stuff. I actually own three of those assets. Don't send me this junk. Okay? It's not worth it. Not worth it to me. So today's actions. What did Scott do today to help you guys drive and stuff? And so what I did to help me find my pot of gold, because we found a pot of gold. <clears throat> Is there a nationwide MLS we can subscribe to? No, Jeff, there's not. You can use NARRPR if you've got a realtor license or NARD license, NARRPR that will help you pull comps. Or it's called pick up the phone. Pick up the phone and call a realtor. All right? Pick up the phone and call a realtor. So today's actions. And I waited to do this until I didn't do this during business hours. So what I did is I did this after hours. Literally, I did this after 5 o'clock today. Okay? I gave out one Miami note deal that I'm working on at 5 p.m. Central Time. That's exactly how it went out. I raised over half a million dollars in the first hour. I raised over half a million dollars in the first hour. I had one guy call me at 551, say, Scott, I got 300 plus grand to fund this deal with. I had another guy email me before that at 505, said I got 45 grand. Okay, they won't quite fund the deal because the deal was for 52,000, 85,000 dollar condo or that we were looking for 52,000 to take it down, taxes, foreclosure, everything. Okay, but over half a million dollars in the first hour, and I've had more people respond since then. All right, all I did was email out that one Miami note deal, literally in Mailchimp. I sent it out. There you go. Let me pull it up here because I want you to see campaigns. I'm doing this proof is in the pudding kind of bullshit that you guys like. So this went out to this group of people that are 100 going through that. But list is 4,945 is my LinkedIn connection. 609 opens. I really didn't have any clicks. But I got 12. I got 600 people that have seen my deal in the last two hours, two and a half hours. This deal is hot. Bam. Got an amazing Miami condo nut deal that you can sink your teeth into before Christmas. This condo is a value of eighty-five thousand, and we're looking for a JV partner to help us take it down. There's a picture of the condo. Funny amount of fifty-two thousand purchase taxes, foreclosure, etc., and all that we have to do is foreclose on the HOA. Condo is in good shape and would rent for eleven hundred per month, but is not an ideal renter rental to partner up with because of a three hundred fifty a monthly HOA or less than a fourteen percent rental ROI. Our goal would be to finish foreclosure and sell it at 90% of FMV in an appreciating market and split 20 to 25K in profits in a year or less. 
We can put your self-directed IRA to work now. When was the last time your investment saw an awesome return like this? Christmas will come early this year. We have multiple deals like this, one available starting at $25,000 for JV Partners. Contact me for more information. Okay? Simple email. Took me about a half hour to write it up, and I didn't use my old template. Literally start to finish with a brand new template. Pull some photos of other deals we're working on. My profile, clickable links. It's raising capital. Anybody like that deal? Oh, yeah. It is a condo deal. I like it because it's a condo deal. Because, A, it's appreciating market. There's on-site management. The HOAs are actually done the foreclosure on this already. So they've gotten out the tenant. So it's going to be an easier foreclosure to wipe out the HOA. Oh, and, and since it's in Florida, safe harbor laws, I'm only going to pay 1% of the original sales price, which is about uh, was about 90 grand, which means about 900 bucks. Uh, who's doing this legwork? We are. My team. Okay. Are all your email list buyers accredited investors? No, Jason, they're not. But I've sent emails out to them more than once. I have a relationship. I can see people that are, I don't want to deal with all credit investors. I'm communicating. And I have people respond. I'll fund that deal. I got money. I got it. I want it. I want it. I want it. All right. And the person that asked me is, are we doing all the workout? No, we're not going to do all the workouts. That takes me to the third leg. But before I get to the third leg, do you guys understand that? Raise over half a million dollars in the first hour. I got another 200 coming this week on deals alone from other marketing we did today. All right. You may get a call to me tomorrow, John. That's fine. There you go. Cha-ching. Hang on. Mike likes it. He's calling me tomorrow. You better email me tonight because it may not be available tomorrow. <laughs> you guys have to quit looking for excuses of why it would not work and just start doing stuff. I had a guy to, in the last mastermind like, well, you can't send that to your, your email list. You're not, they're not all credit investors. And I was like, F you, dude. Yes, I can. I've got a three-touch approach. I've touched base with this person once, twice, three, four, five, ten times on emails. All right. Charles, I don't have time to go. What system or program do you use to calculate the value? It's called uh, algebra. It's called Excel. Knowing what my expenses are, knowing what my breakdown is. I have a lot of stuff up for that deal, but if you're interested, drop me an email and I'll send you the breakdown of that deal. But literally, I took action and things happened. If you guys don't take action, nothing's going to happen. And I said this at 5 o'clock. I purposely waited till 5 o'clock Central Time to send it out. And I, all I did was pull my LinkedIn connections. That's all I pulled was my LinkedIn connections. Okay? I didn't pull my 30,000-person database. It was literally my LinkedIn connections. And I got a mixed bag of friends and contacts and note investors and asset managers and other people on that list. Okay? Just like many of you do. All right? So maybe you don't have 5,000 contacts, but you still got 500 people. Maybe you got 300 people. Maybe you need to connect your LinkedIn profile to your Gmail. You got to start taking action because if you don't, you're just wasting your time, all right? You're just wasting your time. Let's go through leg number three here. And a lot of people get bogged down in the details. And if you're an engineer on the phone, I'm going to apologize right now because you're probably not going to like what I'm going to say, okay? Exit strategy systems. Now, rule number three. You make your money when you buy, but if you don't work it, you waste it, all right? In the no business, you make your money when you buy, just like you would traditional real estate, but if you don't work it, you waste it. You cannot sit around when you're buying notes and assets and just sit around and not do anything. You've got to take action on things. And unfortunately, A, if you're busy doing set, uh, one and two, you often don't have time to do all number three. Now, if you have time to do all three of those, A, you're not a serious enough player. You may be a one-off buyer. You may be a small buyer. Systems will save your business, and they will save your sanity as well. All right. I get a lot of people. Well, I want to do the loss mitigation, the workouts myself. No, you don't. All right. No, you don't. Because you want to ramp up. You want to be able to buy as much of this and get your freaking fists and arms around as much of this freaking non-performing pie as you can possibly get right now. All right. You want to get as much as you can. And sitting around trying to figure everything out, re-engineer A through Z, a better uh, circle, better wheel is a waste of freaking time. Servicing is important, and yes, you need a servicer, 
but your loss mitigation is more critical, and it's where the money is made and lost. Okay? So I get people all the time that call me, well, I'm just going to use FCI because I'm going to do the service myself. That's great. You're get, ooh, great. They got great back end. Their service sucks. So the time that you have to go out and get somebody to make things happen now, now you got to find somebody else, and now it's going to cost you more because now it's going to cost you more time and work to do it. Your good attorneys, good attorneys are worth their weight in fees. Oh, my gosh, especially this week alone. Good attorneys are worth their weight in fees. You can't do everything yourself, and you don't want to self-serve. I saw somebody post online, anybody got a cease and desist letter? I'm like, well, that means you've been servicing without a license in those states then probably. <laughs> Trying to get by without, you're stepping over dollars to save pennies. You're stepping over dollars to save penny, Okay. You also got to realize, too, I had a good conversation um, Wednesday night with a loss mitigation attorney when I was in San Diego for happy hour. He came up and met me up. Let me out. Not every exit is an exit. Yes, you could foreclose on everybody, but that may not be your best exit strategy. If somebody's hired an attorney and they want to stay in their house and they can make a payment, that's going to be probably your best exit strategy. You're not going to be exiting from the property. You're not going to be exiting them from the property. You may want to keep them in, and that may be one of your best exit strategies especially if you're being in the deal for 6, 12 months. you got to know which way to go because your deals can go multiple ways and be a little flexible. So many people want, they get their, the engineering mindset, well, we got to go this route. And we tell them, well, what about if you went this route? Uh, system overload. I do not know what's going on. You know, their, their head explodes because they can't figure it out. Okay. How do you cash flow in this business, Bill? Well, how you cash flow in this business is you buy non-performing notes that are owner-occupied where the rent rates are more than what your mortgage payment or modification could be. And then you work with the borrowers to keep them in the property. That's how you cash flow. All right? That's how you get things done. That right then and there. You turn non-performing assets to performing assets. You turn problem properties into profitable solutions. Okay? So, you can. the biggest thing, too, about this, guys, if you're really going to run a business and not be a jack of all trades, vendors will run your business. You want to be a business owner. You do not want to be self-employed. You do not want to be self-employed. If any of you have ever read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, please, for the love of God, for the love of sanity, understand that if you're doing everything, you are not a business owner. You are self-employed. All right? So the take action now kind of aspect of it, what's happened today with this stuff, okay? You are not a business. You are you. Most of you are not business owners. Most of you are self-employed. Today, you got to quit being self-employed and become a business owner. All right. Quit stepping over dollars to save pennies. I think I covered that already. Quit waiting to learn and give the ball to the freaking professionals. As I used to say in football, shut up and give me the ball and get the hell out of the way. Give it to your servicers. Give it to your attorneys. Quit trying to drag shit out. I got a phone call from somebody last week. A student of mine who waited six months to do something. Now that the deal, their, their one-year joint venture is coming to an end, they don't have the money to pay the servicing fees, and they're scared to have to go back to their, their funding partner. I'm like, well, you waited six months to do something. You did not do A, B, C, or D like I told you to in the first six months, so I don't really feel sorry for you. It's your fault. You better get ready to pony up a few hundred bucks then. Okay? They didn't give the ball to the professionals. Okay? <laughs> If you want to do everything yourself, go back to fixing flipping and get the hell out of the way, everybody. All right. Go back to being a handyman, a jack of all trades, because the note business is not where you want to be. All you're going to do is screw stuff up for other people. If you want to do everything, then you know what? Go ahead and take the rest of the month off and all of December and start looking for fix and flip. Tell you what, in six months, you can buy the REOs from me at 30 40% higher than what I'm buying the notes at. How's that sound? You can pay retail <laughs> for what I'm picking up wholesale. All right. Question here. If I find and you do what needs to be done, how do I learn what to do in this business? I share, hey, we're doing this. We're doing this. this is what's going on. A lot of times it's set it and forget it. Well, not really forget it, but the attorneys run everything. Here's what's happening. Here's what's happening. Okay. Yeah, quit being the Lone Ranger. 
Who's a Lone Ranger? If somebody's being a Lone Ranger, they should be called Tonto because they're stupid. All right, hang on a second. Because if you're being a Lone Ranger, you ain't making this. You're busy doing this. Alfonso, that's for you, buddy. You're the Lone Ranger, buddy. Quit being the stinking Lone Ranger. All you're doing is stepping over dollars to save nickels. Okay? Yeah, he's laughing. You're laughing, Alfonso. I got to feel I'm psychic right now. All right? We love you, man, but quit being a Lone Ranger. There's no way I could be do what I do if I try to do everything myself. Let me give you an example of this. Okay? Let me give you an example. Today, Rich Monroe sent me two file folders. I've been waiting on for it. Okay, that's great. If I had to held them up, then I had to go down to my storage unit, find it, bring it back up. Now they finally emailed me a couple files. Servicing company negotiate two loan modifications. The borrowers have been dragging on for three and four months. Okay, three and four months of the work, they finally got it modified. Loss mitigation experts went out and knocked on eight homes for me. Hmm, am I going to jump on a plane and go drive out eight homes? No. Attorneys also foreclosed on two homes in Florida. You think I'm going to jump to Florida and go get stuff foreclosed on? No. Oh, then also realtors helped me with five assets for sale today. One's negotiating a sale. Another one's working through a rehab on stuff. Okay. One's got a cash buyer on another deal. All right. Realtors helped me with it. I can't do everything myself. I I woke up at eight roughly. I was on a conference call at 10 with my team. Alpha investment managers. We walked through some of the deals we're working on. How are the attorneys in Chicago taking care of it? Are we evicting those people? No. Yes. Great. Hmm. Do we get $45 check in a month? Yes. Great. Move on. Then a different phone call. Hmm. You get two loan modifications approved. Okay. Let's go that route. We can have lost mint knock on those eight doors. Great. Oh, we got a bar to respond. You get what I'm saying. You, I would not be able to do all this myself. Okay. This is what a team will do for you. Your time. If you're trying to do everything yourself, you are way being paid way too cheap. Yes, Anthony, you can wholesale notes quickly like wholesaling homes, but why do that? Stay involved in the deal. You, amen, Frank. Yes, you can get a copy of the PowerPoint. I'm going to save it to slide sharing. I think everybody's even at the crest for that. Okay. I would not have been able to do all this stuff myself. You've got to learn to do that. My team's actions help me find deals and raise capital. They help me be able to free my time up to do that. Too many of you guys are out there trying to find a deal. Oh, let me go find a funding source. Oh, let me go try to figure this all out. And then you get a deal or two that if it doesn't get accepted, then you got to start back and forth. Start putting systems in place. All right? Start putting systems in place. If you don't do that, you're, you're, you're literally going to drive yourself bonkers because you're never going to have any momentum. You're never going to get anything done. Okay? You're never, ever going to make things happen. Does that make sense? Hopefully it's making sense to you all. So you're like, oh, yeah, sure. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I always say this because I do this. <clears throat> and I've taught a lot of people how to do this. Okay? And, yes, we do it in, like, one hour, hour and a half segments on Monday night a lot of time. But I've also spent a lot of time traveling and teaching people how to do this. And I had a lot of people that were like, Scott, I'd really love to come have you kick my ass for four days. I'm like, yeah, I'm not flying out of my house. I'm not leaving Austin. I'm going to stay in Austin and knock shit out of the park. But there's also a lot of opportunity here over the next six, 12 months before, even after this whole market correction hits. Okay. So here's something that you guys may be interested in doing. And we've changed this up. I haven't been offering mentoring up for since June. I stopped doing it in June, July. And I'm not looking to mentor. I'm not looking to put people into an eight-week program or a 12-week program. That's not what I want to do. I have something that I've put together that some of you guys may like. Okay? When you say team, do you mean like VAs or like a land home company? I mean them both, Frank. My team is like land home. My team is also my VAs. They all work for me. Okay? They all work for me. So one of the things I've done is I have kind of put together a fast track training. I've got people that are like, well, what do I do this? And literally, I think some of you guys are really enjoy this, like what we're offering now. I know that some of you guys are already getting signed up. Jay, Timmy, uh, Michael, you talked about that. Who else? Uh, Michelle, 
there's quite a few people out there that went through the workshop, the virtual workshop last week, and they're getting all taken care of on stuff. And so we put this together this fast track training. It goes in line with my Top Gun mentoring. All right, we teach people how literally with my fast track training. We get help. We help people get introduced to hedge funds. All right, we'll help people pull their asset manager lists. Okay, we'll help you build your marketing plan. We'll get you. We'll actually give you 500 IRA investors in the county or counties of your choice. We'll help you raise real money from your tribe. I'll show you what to email, what to say, what not to say. I'll help get your vendors, your attorneys, your loss mitigation servicing lined up for deals. We'll work real deals as well. Oh, that's a hot deal. Somebody else just emailed me. Uh, I'll have another 400K available in December. Let's put some money on the boots, on the books. Yeah! I have about 200K in OPM and SER funds that are ready to move before the year's out. I'll have another. That's 600K just raised, baby. Yeah! Boy! Yeah! Love it! It works! Sorry, getting sidetracked here. I love getting emails like that. Woo! Anyway, back to what the fast track training is here, is we're here to help you get things done. I'm going to help you put A to Z together. All right? You can raise money. It's all going to come down to those basically three posts. Help your vendors. Help you get work real deals. Help you make things happen. Okay? We'll also connect you in with our mastermind, the, the uh, 100 plus people that are really out there doing stuff on a regular basis. Okay? I'll literally help you introduce you. I'll pick up the phone. Hey, deal with Jack. Deal with Steve. Deal with Mike. All right? Here, fill out these forms. Get it in so you're at the top of the list. Oh, here's a list of asset managers for reach out that are doing stuff in the states that you're investing. Oh, let's show you how to reach out to those guys. Oh, let's show you how to reach out to IRA investors. Let's show you. Oh, I'll give you 500 IRA investors in your county of your choice. All right. Try to build tribe if it is small or non-existent. Yeah, everybody's got a tribe, Milton. I can help you build it in literally in just a few days. Okay. So what I'm talking about with this fast track training is not over eight months. It's literally coming and spending three days with me in Austin. All right. It's basically one-on-one, -on -one, no business training, six people max per event. That could be three partners with their three principals or six individual investors. It's a maximum of six people because literally what we're going to focus on is going to be so in-depth during that Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's literally be nine to five almost all three days, okay? It's going to be a lot of work for those three days. You're going to have to come with your big girl panties on, your big boy thongs on, okay? Let's focus on marketing. Let's focus on asset managers. It's also focused on deals and funding, all right. If we get your marketing down and right, you'll have plenty of money and you'll also have plenty of deals. All right. It's Friday, I say Friday through Sunday, nine to five. The first one we're having is January 8th through the 10th. I'm not doing one in December because I'm going to be busy buying assets. Okay. January to the 10th, that's almost booked. February is 26th to the 28th, and then March is 25th through the 27th. All right. We may do one of these one weekend a month to do this because A, we're busy focused on deals, literally getting ready to close on almost 300 asset tape here that we'll be marketing and reaching and closing on over the next six months, okay? <clears throat> Timmy, I know you're ready to roll in Austin. Awesome. We'll get you up here. Three days in my office, in the boardroom here, in the war room, literally me kicking your butt in a good way, all right? Like, put this together, put this together, put this together, all right? So, do you and a spouse or partner? <clears throat> you're going to also get continued year-long support from me, all right? It's not come for three days and never hear from me, okay? You can also attend the masterminds all year. And with the masterminds, we've done three a year. Uh, we're, I'm looking at probably, instead of making them three at five days long, probably switching them up to quarterly at three days long, make it a little bit easier for more people to come out, all right? It's so like my mastermind that's coming up here is going to be four days long, <clears throat> We've got quite a few deals to go through. Plus, some of us are going to go down to Key West, so maybe longer in four days, maybe during seven days. But I'm going to help you guys build a real note business. And I'll be literally leave your job if you need to, give you a way, give you a solution to make things happen. Trust me. You come spend three days with me and just a couple other people, I'm going to ship you into shape. Trust me. The only, only reason I want to do it one weekend a month is it's a lot of work to do that with five, six people. Price is not 25 grand, it's 89.97. Literally, it's rock bottom price for you guys. We're doing this, offering this up here. 
I would love nothing better than to sell out the 18 spots between now and March and then not offer it up again until April. But literally, uh, I've offered my mentoring up. It's been twenty, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars. <throat> if you've been through my mentoring in the past, hey, great. It's eighty-nine ninety-seven to come spend three days with me. All right, that's good for them. All the masterminds throughout the year as well. All three or four, whatever we end up going to, and uh, really rock solid about that. If you're interested in signing up for, it, you can literally go to bitly slash training to sign up for it. All right. <clears throat> if you guys are interested in taking action and you want to be a part of something, hey, here's your opportunity to be part of it. I don't need 50 people. I don't want 50 people. Yeah, if we have three, six people a month to add to it that are actually closing deals, great. But we're getting lists in. And those people that come into this on a monthly basis will have the chance to look at real tapes, real assets, make real offers, and make things happen. And you'll learn my ninja secrets of how I do things, how I actually market stuff, how I raise capital. So you guys have seen it and seen some good things happen. But literally, if you want to make some serious money, you're going to hang out with me for a couple days. And that's what it is. All right? Are there any questions about what we covered tonight? Because literally, you guys, everybody struggles with three things, how to find assets, how to raise capital, and how to put your systems in place, break down deals, extra strategies, how to understand that. If you got somebody that hands that for three days, one day just focused on each of those things for the most part, you're going to walk out and be like, oh, my God, all I got to do is hit send on this email. All I got to do is do this. All I got to do is do that. Wow. That's easy. I mean, literally, what would you guys, would you guys love to have the emails that I send out quarterly to my asset managers? Would you love that? Great. It's included. How would you like to have the sample emails that we use to send out to our database to raise capital or sample deal to? Great. It's included. What would it be worth you guys to raise a half million dollars in a weekend for your deals? What would it be worth that to you? Trust me, it's worth a whole lot more than eighty nine ninety seven. what it is so if you want to get signed up go to bit.ly slash top gun training if you do want to pay for it with your self-directed IRA it does constitute an educational expense so we can work with that to help to get that taken care of you just got to email me separately uh, for us to help you get that figured out for you questions here no doubt that's right <clears throat> uh, there are six spots left in January we got five in March I know Jay you're gonna be part of the one in March uh, I think we got four to either four to six in February left, but literally January we've got three people that are, are taking advantage of that one. Maybe four. You know, Timmy's one of them. And I've got a couple other people that are taking. So literally, it is what it is. Everybody, you can either take advantage. Of, it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Not during the week. The reason we're doing it Friday, Saturday, Sunday is to allow you guys. For those like I've learned a lot in the last couple of years. Like we used to come out and spend Monday through Thursday or Tuesday through Friday one on one with people. And they would take off from work, and we covered so much information, then they went back to work, and they weren't able to implement everything because they were overwhelmed with a two weeks two weeks worth of work. Well, what we did is then we went to an eight-week program. Okay, it's eight-week virtual. We'll use a base camp thing. We'll do one lesson a day every for eight weeks or ten weeks. And people wouldn't do their homework. And I can't tell you how many times I've done a webinar where I gave people homework, and they didn't do it, and I wanted to freaking explode. On my birthday, for example, May. I was on a call with people that only one person did their homework, and I'm just like, I can't believe it. So we focused on his on his business. So if you're coming out, there will be homework that you'll have to do. You'll have to have some stuff set up. All right. I'll tell you right now, <laughs> if you struggle with Excel, this is not going to be the thing for you. All right. If you don't have social media accounts or aren't going to have a social media account, save your money. I don't want to deal with you. All right. I don't want to deal with you if you are technologically challenged. Just too much stuff going on. All right. Now, you don't have to be the best at creating emails. You don't have to be the best at Excel. Trust me, I'll help you put people in your place and make things happen. Yeah, no, Mark, I don't do 50-50 profit splits. It's eighty nine ninety seven for my assets because you know what? Most people don't do shit. No. 
I will not do a 50 50. It should be, you know what? It's 50 50. It's 16 grand to you. <laughs> now, I don't do profit splits. People just don't do it. I did it once before. It won't do it. I ended up doing all the work on the deal anyway. It's not worth me to do it. Trust me, the eighty nine ninety seven for three days of my time to be in my office and to walk out with my asset managers, my list, my connections, it's well worth it. That's a small drop in the bucket. All right. Appreciate you asking. Doesn't hurt to ask, but yeah, no. If you're interested, everybody, hey, want to come spend three days with me? I know I've got some uh, mastermind students on there. You want to come hang out for three days? Great. It's eighty nine ninety seven. You can do this once a year if you want to. Trust me. It's well worth it. Heck, the 500 asset managers are worth a 1000 bucks just in there alone. Sorry, 500 IRA investors, not asset managers. Okay? Yeah, you'll make eight, you'll make more than 8K on one deal. Trust me, I'll save you more than 8K on a deal right there. Uh, yeah, Perry, they're going to be here in Austin in my office. You need to, If you want to jump on board. That's why we're making it 89.97. I shouldn't be charging 15, but... If you're going to fly in, spend a couple days at the hotel, that's a great rental car, I'm making it affordable so those that are coming to me. Trust me. If I was flying out to you in San Jose, it'd be 20 grand. All right? You want to hire me for three days to come out to you? It's 20 grand. Okay? If you want me to come out, <laughs> email me. We'll see something. We'll figure something out if you want me to really, really come out to you. But my focus this year is to be focused on literally getting the deals done. I'm going to piss some people off. I know that. I don't have a problem with that. People are way too touchy. Okay? I'd love to see ISIS show up at my door. I'd blast their asses. Anyway, if you're interested, let me know. You go to bit.ly Top Gun Train. Literally, all you got to do is go to the web. Literally, just type it into your mouse just like that. Bit.ly backslash Top Gun Training. And it'll take you straight into your website. If you're having trouble on your uh, browser, it should take you straight there just like that. Just like that. And if you can't, can't pay it all on a credit card, drop me an email, and we'll get you taken care of manually over the next couple of days. So, any other questions before we wrap up tonight, everybody? Because literally, we've covered quite a bit of stuff here tonight for you. Hopefully, it's been... Goal-oriented uh, goal for you and help you kind of see the light of some things. So the payment plan, uh, yeah, we can talk about payment plan. Usually split that up over three payments, but you've got to be paid in full before you can come hang out, Perry. So we would do three grand, three grand, three grand. Or if it's in your self-directed IRA, you can pay for it in your self-directed IRA as an educational expense. Okay? How are your investors secured on the deal? Uh, the deal that I was working on, basically, it's a joint venture agreement. They're codenamed on the assignment. All right. How does it, long as the first deal on average? It depends on the state you're investing, Mark. But uh, we've had deals, to get a deal modified could be done in 60 days, if not faster. The deals that take two weeks before. Every deal is a little bit different. I honestly, I can't answer um, average deal. I think the stuff that we get in modification is we're getting stuff modified in less than 90 days. Stuff that we got to foreclose averages out to roughly about nine months. Yeah, it's really an, it's an educational expense. So, yeah, since we were approved for continuing education in the state of Texas, Mike, it does constitute an IRA expense. You could do the same thing with your program, Mike. True story. Mike, that's worth that eight, nine grand to you right there. It's not all about me, buddy. Anyway, everybody, any other questions here? Guys, we're here to make things happen. If you want to do make things happen, great. You and your spouse, you and your partner want to come out and spend a couple days with me, come on out and spend a couple days with me. People that have been through my training know that, A, I'm serious about it. Plus, this is a whole lot cheaper than we've done in a long, long time. And we're offering up just a trial run. You know, it looks like we'll have a few people do it. We'll see how that goes. I would rather 
offer it up cheap and sell it out and be done with it <clears throat> versus trying to go back and forth with it. So, All right, everybody. If there are not any other questions, you can always reach me. All right. On my offices, their cell phone. All right. Oh, hang on here. Where is it at? If there's any other questions, whoops, we got a couple questions there. Yeah, it can be a cheap webinar instead of learning the hard way. You're right about that. And, yes, Stephen, I'll be uploading the slide share. So if I'm not uploading this to slide share, here, why not I do it right now with you guys on the call? I'm going to save this a different one. Save as Monday Note. Take action now. Anytime, Eve. Jeff, you're right. They go buy 8.4 ounces of gold and watch it go down in value. <laughs> That's right. Slideshare.net. Yeah, pull this here real fast. Let's do documents, Monday note. Take action now. Glad they're kicking the ass as much appreciate it, Alfonso. All right. All right, everybody. Well, hey, it's going on here. If you want to find me, you can go to uh, slideshare.net. Uh, one Scott Carson. Hang on. Here. Ah, I hate it that it does this. The Monday note. The one thing that wasn't published, uh, capitalized. Slide share. Such a cool, cool tool. Not many people use it as much as they should. If we go to my profile, Scott A. Carson. Slideshare.net slash Scott A. Carson. All right. Is up there for you guys to take a look at. Download if you need to. Hopefully it's helpful. All right, everybody. Slideshare.net slash Scott A. Carson is right up there at the top. All right. Have a great weekend, everybody. Once again, sign up now before the slots fill up. We expect January to be filled up in the next couple days. Have a great evening. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Be safe out there. Have fun. Be thankful for what we have. Talk to you all later. Bye.